looking live at the WBC Arena's Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. And here is the legend himself. So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Sugar Ray Robinson. Many consider him to be the greatest fighter in the history of this sport. Inducted into the International Hall of Fame in 1990, he fights out of Harlem, New York. This is going to be one hell of a fight. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Fighting out of the blue corner from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. This is going to be that fight. This is what people are going to be talking about forever and a day. What a great venue and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. This fight. And there's the bell to start the round. He got caught clean by a left hook. Another scoring shot there. He's gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Can you imagine walking into this? A chance to make history. This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. No, we don't. A wise veteran move there to clinch. I don't know if it's a dancing competition or a fight. job getting that punch through. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more. Will the referee stop it? Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Blink and you miss it. Good thing we can watch that on replay over and over again. A shot from the gods took him out. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them. Well done with that counter shot. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. 
Let's see how they... They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? It staggers back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. This counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you and usually hit you harder. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Nice idea with the jab, but does not land. And at some point, the corner needs to think about stepping in here. And a wise move there to clinch. There's a tactic to clinching. When you clinch, you're taking someone out of their pace. You're making them feel uncomfortable. It's something they're not used to. But is Do you believe what we are seeing? He's landed everything he's got, but he can't get him out of there. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look Why weren't they covering up? Robinson goes to the canvas. Let's see that again. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. To make or break a fighter. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. One minute. You need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with it. I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see. At some point, the corner has to say you're done. Takes a deep breath, but right back into the line of stumbling around on Bambi. And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. Let's see that again. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. Up, but at some point, Johnny, he's got to live to fight another day, doesn't he? He's up, but, but for how long? Look at her. On the heels. Look at her. There's nothing there. And once again, he gets clinched. It tells me so much when a fight is holding on. It means they've been hurt. It means they're tired. Or it means they don't know what to do. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you can they finish it?
Just, whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the foundation rocked. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be. We just... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bound because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does let be... And what a shot. Another clinch. Had to hold on, getting hurt every time the punches land. And you can see he does not like being grabbed onto. Sometimes you've got to go with the instincts. Hold on tight to the head. We're always looking for that KO, and we could see an upset right here. Knocked down hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. As we take another look, you can see it. The body shot was pitch perfect, and it won in the fight. I need to see that again. Onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory? That is God. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot. 